we are going to try another modification experiment, I guess you could call it that. Um, this is involving a GRIP6 belt. So if you don't know about GRIP6, it's an interesting belt design meant to replace, I guess, like leather belts. And this is not sponsored by GRIP6, by the way, this is purchased by me. So it's basically like a nylon belt. It's got a weird little stop here and this is your friend belt it actually goes in like that it wraps around you and then comes in at the top so your belt buckle looks like that and the friction between your body and the uh the buckle makes it not not move and here's what it kind of looks like from the back side but they don't have any leather belts because it's supposed to be a leather belt replacement. So I figured let's try and make a leather belt work. Um, I had actually, oh, one of the things about the Grip 6 is it's supposed to um, help alleviate pinch on your body, which I guess occurs from, you know, where the, where the belt buckles on traditional belts kind of get you right there. But uh, they don't make, you know, leather belts for the Grip 6. I had talked to a leather worker that does a lot of belts that I really highly respect. He said he wouldn't do it because it's got to be, you know, for his, drop the buckle. For him, it'd be too thin um, really to work with, and he didn't feel like it'd be that durable in the long run with how thin it would have to be. Well, I just happened to go to Walmart and pick up this belt, this leather belt right here. And this is a, it's a Dickies and it is, I believe it was a 44, yeah, it's a 44 at 110 inches, I guess, or maybe it's 110 centimeters, centimeters, I don't know, but it's a 44. And anything uh, larger than this, I could not get to fit through the slots on the Grip 6, but the 44 would. Let's see, actually, it will technically go the other way. So, what I want to see is if we could somehow modify, cut off this stuff, and modify it to where it would work with the grip six. Um, it's not going to work right now because obviously, I mean, you can't wear, you can't, you know, wear it like this. I mean, that's just not going to work. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see if we can, you know, perhaps cut off some stuff and make it to where it'll work. So let's check it out. So this might not work at all. Who knows? But that's what we're going to see. So first thing I want to do is I want to cut off the, the loop right there. The tail loop or I don't know what you, what you call it. Uh, White River. No, not sponsored by them, just it's what I'm using. Also not sponsored by Knife Ship Free, it's just the pad I'm using. <laughs> Alright, got rid of the <clears throat> loop there. Now let's see how this slides up. So better, but as you see, it gets caught right there, which I mean, it's supposed to get caught because that's how the other one worked. But it's still, it's quite a lot on, you know, hanging off, so. We're gonna go ahead and cut on this. See, maybe we can somehow trim this down. The thing is with this is we do have a lot of stitching back here, which is, is good, because we don't want it to, you know, stop and then just pull right out. I'll also stitch it on the, on the other side as well. Uh, okay, same box stitching on both sides. 
Just trying to figure out if maybe one side was better. Okay, there we go. So it is sitting better, but that's that's not gonna work. I mean, it would work if it was like that, but it's it's not gonna work because when you have it pulled all the way down, it's gonna stick out like that. That's not gonna work. Um, I could trim off more of this right there, but still, it's gonna be sticking straight up. I wonder if I turn this around. Okay, so I turned it around. Eh, a little better, not much. I really don't know what to do. <clears throat> Maybe there's just not nothing, nothing that can be done. Not nothing. <laughs> Maybe there's just nothing that can be done with this um, because that would have to be folded over directly on itself very small and I don't think it's it's flexible enough to do that so this might be a fail and just a destruction of a belt for no reason yeah because I really can't think of a way Without it, yeah, just sticking out far. Maybe if I had how I had it before and it would slide in there, maybe that would have worked. But that's not what I did. If I had it, if I had it kind of like that, and I cut the stitching there, and it slid up and caught there, that may have worked. Maybe I'll have to go buy, out and buy another one of these and find out. Okay, so I went ahead and cut off that part that folded over just to kind of see, you know, what would happen. It's kind of funny, I got the holes, but no pen to go through them anymore. And if you look here, looks like it's working. So I kind of wonder if I could trim off just a little bit more. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's probably the, I don't know if you can see them, but it's probably the stitching that's that's holding it. Get a light. Yeah, you see, it's probably the stitching that's holding it. And if it's the stitching, well, I don't know how long that'll hold for, you know, for use, but. We'll see, maybe I can trim this down a little bit more. Thing is, is I can't go past the stitching. So I gotta be real careful. straight it's a little slanted that way but not bad you know that might work I think I'm going to try this out um, you know before before I try it out just go ahead Everything's nice and sealed. Yeah, that might be real leather. So it's not really going up like I expected it. It's okay. All right. All right. 
right, so I am going to try this on and wear it for a week and see how it feels in a week. You know, I could just put it on right now and be like, yeah, no way, this is not happening. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So the benefit of the, you know, nylon with the, that comes with the Grip 6 is, well, it's super lightweight. Yeah, it is very grippy, so that's really nice. But, you know, if you want, like, a leather belt just to, you know, keep it a little classy or, you know, if you want to use it as a field shop or something, I mean, there's that benefit, too. All right, got it on. Well, got it on. I have to feed it back through the top. It's the tricky part when you're not looking at it. Where you at? Okay, one thing I didn't think of while taking this on and off is if you kind of miss and start squishing it, it starts bunching up the end and separating it a little bit to where it won't go in. I mean obviously it would go in because you know obviously it would go in because we just had it go in to you know be able to do this. So maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Because of how easy that can squish up and start separating. Hmm. Well, if y'all have any ideas, let me know. I tear up a buy up, buy another belt and tear it up for no reason. Let me know. Come here. Thanks for watching and get outside. Enjoy life. I got a haircut. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit.